Hello, virtual learners. Today's story is called Pip and Squeak. Hmm, now when I look at this picture, I wonder who is Pip and who is Squeak? What do you think? This story only has one name on the cover, so that must mean that this person did both the pictures and the words. He's the author, that's who does the words, and the illustrator, that's who does the pictures. His name is Ian Shoner. Pip and Squeak. I love the pictures in this story, and I hope you do just as much as I do. Squeak pinched Pip, and Pip squeaked. We're late, said Squeak. Don't forget the gift for Gus. Snow, said Squeak. Get the sled. Look at where they live. They live inside of a mailbox. What a cute little place to live. it. Hmm, can you read that word? It. Now, the whole sentence, let's check how many words it has. One, two, three, four. I can tell where the words are because there are spaces that go in between. See the spaces there? Step, step, on, on, it, it, p, it, p, pip. But then there's this exclamation point at the end, so I have to read it with an excited voice. Can you try it with me? Here we go. Step on it, Pip! Oh my gosh, what are they using as a sled? How cute, it's a letter. Lickety split. Okay, so they sled, right? And then their sled, that letter, crashed into a pole. <gasps> what must they be doing? I think it's a clothesline. Have you seen a clothesline before? Sometimes people have that outside. Instead of putting their clothes in the dryer to dry, they hang their clothes up and let the sunshine and fresh air dry them. There are no clothes on this clothesline, but the mice can quick, quick go across. Lickety split is another way of saying quickly. But then Squeak squinted. she said. Now what will we give Gus? Something better, Pip whispered, and he slunk off to find it. Hmm, no cheese. What might he able to be able to find that's better? This is great for Gus, said Pip. Not as great as cheese, scoffed Squeak. Whoa, what are those? It's a kind of bird. It's a flamingo. Sometimes people put those in their yard. I don't think those are real flamingos. I think that those are the yard art. Gus will love this, said Pip. Is it full of cheese? Squeak snorted. Hmm, I keep on wondering, what is Gus? We brought him cheese. We think that Gus would like uh, flamingos. Maybe a bird? A birdhouse? Hmm. Just then, Pip saw something. It was orange. You know what this is? This is a lawn gnome. Some people, again, put this out in their yard. Hmm. It was... Okay, this sentence has three words in it. It, and then this is that word I just have to know. Was that a bee? A fuzzy buzzy bee. W-A-S was was. It was. Now let's see if we can figure this word out together. I know that it's not a D, because remember, D goes A, B, C, turn it into a D, so it's the other one. B, E, G, big, <gasps> big. So if I read the sentence, ready, let's do it together. It was big. Well, what big orange thing did he see? You've got it. It's cheese! Oh no, that's not cheese. Squeak, squeak. Oh no. The words don't tell us what happened, but the picture does. Squeak scrambled down and pulled Pip up. It's not cheese after all, sniffed Pip. We can still give it to Gus, said Squeak. He probably won't like it, said Pip. But Gus thought it was perfect. 
We were wondering what Gus might be, and the final picture shows us. The words don't, but Gus is a rabbit. I have to say, I think that a rabbit would prefer a carrot to cheese. Now, take a look. What do you think they are doing for Gus? I see hats. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that they are celebrating Gus. Why might you celebrate someone? Maybe it's his birthday. Hmm. And then this time, this book was dedicated to someone, but they put it on the last page. It says, these mice are for my mother. I hope you enjoyed hearing the story of Pip and Squeak.